Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame, so in yesterday's video, had a slight bullish lean due to the tightening range and the overall trend for the bulls. And fortunately, I didn't get any messages. Everybody's saying, hey, you were wrong, which is always nice. But just want to point out that so much changes overnight that if you're using these two-minute videos to trade, I don't advise it. If you're using it to you know, counter my opinion against your own, absolutely, that's a good use for it. But so much changes by the time I put these short two-minute videos out. Every day I'm live on webcam in the morning, pre-market from 9 a.m. for an hour and 45 minutes. So the information that is given there compared to these two-minute videos is not comparable. So we knew to be bearish today because of the pre-market setup, which obviously I can't put in these two-minute videos at the end of each day. So we had a tightening range here pre-market. The jobs report reaction was bearish. All moving averages, resistance on the five-minute, so we knew to be bearish. Rejected from the 20 period, one, two, three, four, five candlesticks in a row. Bounce attempt, rejected a sixth time. Bounce attempt, rejected a seventh time. We knew to be bearish this whole time because we had no bullish indications. Now that changed. We formed a higher low. We started paying attention. We have not seen a higher high on the five minute chart all day. We have not had the 20 period moving average as support all day. When a resistance rejects the price time and time again, when it then becomes support, that's your go signal. So it became support. We, that was signal number one for the bulls. If you wanted to be more cautious, you waited for a higher high break to 1686. That level breaking was your higher high occurred right here. Consolidation, continuation, consolidation, continuation, big bull move at the end of the month. So a, if you looked at my daily video yesterday and I had that bullish lean and you went into the day trying to play it bullish, obviously you lost money. But if you were up to date on the pre-market setup and the live coverage on what's going on during the morning, very clear that the bears were in control and very clear when that trend shifted to favor the bulls. So with this buying at the end of the day, the question is now, was this just window dressing at the end of the month or is this going to continue into tomorrow? We have tons of resistances to still be watching. The 10 day in the middle Bollinger Band, 218.13 and 218.17 all moving averages on the hourly are resistance, the 20 period, 100 and 200 period. And I'm watching these 218.60s. We've been watching them for weeks, but on Monday and Tuesday, the high of the day, 218.66, the next day, 218.59, rejecting the price. So plenty of resistances to still be watching, but we did see a nice dip buying opportunity and the bulls closed the day very strong. We are still, the past three days, we've traded within the range of Friday, so I'm always keeping an eye on this Friday range. A break of the high, 219.12, and it's almost a given. We're going to see new all-time highs. And a break of the low, 216.25, and I'm looking for a dollar-plus drop down to this 50-day moving average of 214.89. So the candlestick on the weekly is an indecision doji right now. The 10-day moving average is holding a support, and with two trading days left to go, we will likely not close the week with a doji. But as of right now, we're not seeing big time follow through for the bears after confirming the bearish reversal candlestick. And tomorrow is going to be very telling if the bulls can see strength and follow through. And we also need to keep an eye on oil. Oil had a big dump today, which led to a lot of the downside we saw. And oil is currently in oversold conditions on the hourly and four hour chart. I'll be doing the oil video here in a minute. So if oil bounces overnight, like we anticipate it will, that's going to help strengthen the market bulls here again as well. So we'll check back in tomorrow. And again, sure, the pre-market setup is essential for heading into the day and being prepared as so much changes overnight. I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.